Well hi guys, well today I wanted to talk about food storage. It's all very well producing all this uh, produce here, which uh, everybody knows who grows anything. It's only going to give you food certain times of the year and certainly not going to feed you sufficiently enough to survive. And um, with all the uh, world economy falling apart, uh, the weird weather we've been getting everywhere, it really really is so important to store food and uh, so I thought I'd just go over a bit of my um, preps that I have here in my apartment and um, just some basics um, we're pretty simple eaters we don't really uh, go in for too much fancy stuff but how easy it is to store six months supply in an apartment is pretty easy As you can see with uh, just a packet of rice here that will give me uh, one meal a week this packet here will feed me for a month with uh, with uh, just a, a meal a week of uh, a rice and some curry we have uh, two or three different curry sauces so we uh, break up the variation and then uh, what we tend to do is add uh, whatever uh, vegetables we've got available either tomatoes, uh, pepper, you know like a bell pepper, mushrooms um, maybe some carrots, broccoli into that and then uh, same with the pasta you know I can either do uh, a tuna pasta bake or um, some kind of other uh, cheesy pasta sauce bake which you know we tend to stay away from the creamier products and of course good old spaghetti now all of these packets here is one meal a week um, for a month for two people that, that's what we eat um, so basically that's a month's worth, month's worth, month's worth right there and uh, We'd use four four bottles of sauce. Uh, this sauce would go with our spaghetti. Uh, again, we'd add some mushrooms, bell pepper, and so forth. Uh, baked beans we eat once or twice a week. We have a good stock of those. And um, sardines. I love my sardines for lunch. What I tend to do is um, I use a, a cup of soup. Um, just one of these packets of cup of soup and um, then I add me uh, sardines in that gives a great lunch so you know you just calculate that by you know how many times you're gonna have that big old cans of tuna are always great to chuck in with spaghetti uh, the, the pasta bakes uh, e even with uh, uh, making a uh, tuna uh, curry is always good and um, of course the old um, jelly jam as we call it um, it's great to have on hand, cures that sweet tooth, um, lovely on the old toast. And then um, high in protein, your peanut butter, again good stock of that is uh, fills you up, gives you your protein and it's inexpensive. And um, we don't really eat these too much but they're, they're great storage preps to have on hand. Um, they're very very long lasting and easy to store. And then uh, things like dried mushrooms I mean we don't really use these often uh, we prefer to go with fresh mushrooms but if fresh, fresh mushrooms are not available hey we've got a load of dried mushrooms same with um, with our sweet corn um, when it's on sale I buy a bunch of it put it in my uh, dehydrator and then uh, vacuum seal it and I've got some corn there and that goes great in the uh, this packet suits as well as uh, the dehydrated peas as well um, I quite often top off uh, one of these packet soups with um, some extra uh, peas, corn and I've even got some dried carrots and um, you know like mo most of this stuff here is got a, um, a lifespan of three to four years and remember um, the best before date is only a guideline of when they say the flavor will start diminishing it doesn't mean you can't eat it if it says eat before yeah for sure um, you know that's a guideline but when it says best before that's just when they say that it's it's gonna start maybe slightly deteriorating in flavor but um, you know most of this stuff probably I'll keep it four or five years and it'd still be very very um, healthy to eat but the most important thing about your prepping is make sure that anything that you're gonna um, you're gonna store in your preps you'd eat and everything on this table is the mainstay in my preps and I eat every single little bit of it on a weekly basis and that's the most important thing you don't want to store a load of MREs that you've never eaten or other stuff that you've never eaten but it just stores for a long time 
and then when it comes to it uh, you go to eat it and it's disgusting you hate it but anyway I just wanted to share I'm gonna um, go and film my little store under my bed and my water store but um, yep this is uh, this is an idea and everybody should have at least three months of food it's it's an insurance for your family for your own survival um, not just for these natural disasters but for being laid off work or number of other things that can come along unexpected and to be honest with the price of food rising every day um, hey what a what a great investment I'll buy everything when it's on sale like I don't get this stuff on a weekly basis I buy it on a monthly and uh, this week the sardines were on sale and I just bought 40 cans um, I won't buy any uh, sardines now until they go back on sale and I just saved myself 40% hey you know what, what better investment can you make with your money than making 40% so um, go and get yourself some preps well hi guys I just wanted to uh, talk about food storage today and um, show you what you can store under just a regular queen size bed and as you can see got everything neatly stored and rolled up there and uh, what I tend to do I tend to uh, when I buy new stuff I put it in on that side and take everything out from this side the reason it looks also neat and tidy is obviously I tidied it up before I started filming but um, just wanted to give you an idea that you don't need tons of space to do storage you can store in a very tight confined space as in this apartment and as you can see I've used the underneath the queen size bed and there's approximately about six months supply of food there for two people or three months for a family of four but um, everything here I eat on a daily basis as well or a weekly basis Got my uh, soups, fish, uh, rice, pastas, spaghetti, spaghetti sauces, baked beans, peanut butter, selection of curries, tea, powdered milk, dried corn, dried mushrooms, salt, dehydrated peas, lots of um, linguines, all sorts of beans, flowers, coconut flowers, and uh, all sorts of mixture of stuff there, a uh, bunch of jelly, and um, some bread mixes, packet soups, yeah, so just basically wanted to uh, show you that. And this is an example of um, some water storage. As you can see, I've used uh, two and a half liter juice bottles, give them a good wash out, and um, just filled them up with regular tap water. What I tend to do is I use these in my garden about once every six months and then just refill them, keeps them fresh. Then uh, water ever goes down. You've got about a, I guess uh, you could probably get about three weeks water supply there for two people. But uh, just another idea how you can put a few bottles in a small space. This is in my bathroom. And um, yeah, there you go.